What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Malik back in the building with another motherfucking reaction. And, um, it's dark, guys. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading in a while. I just, I just had a lot going on. Um, I'm trying to do, like, you know, upload three times a week, at least. Three times a week. I needed to take a break. But, um, I'm back. Got more videos. <laughs> I'm back with more videos for y'all, so, um, shit, my camera in the fucking way, hold on. We about to react to DDG response to rumors of him cheating and his relationship problems. Without further ado, let's get into this, man. Yeah, they say you got lucky or you such a soul problem. This shit really typical, stay on the net with that head, I get physical. He got a picture with his favorite rapper on Twitter. He miserable. It don't even matter who really beats him a cover. That's crazy. How the fuck did he fuck up his ankle? Or break his ankle? Or break his toe? Or whatever the fuck he did. That shit crazy. The check, or they might just chip in the 20 or maybe a 10 and leave me to cover the rest. That's what his music fire. I just had a... <laughs> had a weak ride, you know. Beating myself for a little bit. I just ain't want to... Hop on stream and the heat, all the shit was going on and shit, but you know. Bro, I hate when people are trying to text me and I'm trying to do a video. It's just so annoying. So I'm sorry for the vibration in the background. One thing is for sure, I'm not on this earth for everybody to like me. Okay. That's not my goal as an entertainer, as a, as a, um, Public. <clears throat> Just using words from Bernie Mac, he said, "If they don't like you, fuck them. <laughs> if they're not gonna be there and ride for you and be your friend and, and make sure you succeed, fuck them. Fuck them all. <laughs> nah, for real though. Like, fuck them for real. Like, if they're not gonna be there and and watch over you and succeed and be your friend and be a real friend and have your back, fuck them for real." No cap. Figure, entrepreneur, social media, superstar, artist. My goal is not to make everybody like me. So, you know, it is what it is, man, but. Right now we in the car with the reaction, so that's where we at with it. I was going through it, nigga. I got a broke. I almost broke my goddamn foot. Mm -hmm. I said not broke, but I I thought it was broken. So it's like, you know, mm -hmm. my, I, you know, I just been going through some little shit, man. You know, I look good. Mm -hmm. I think I don't know why y'all be thinking I don't like I'm not strong. I think it's because I cover my arms, I wear baggy shit. But, like, nigga, I'm really, like, that. You know what I mean? Like, I've been cock diesel. I just don't be liking to show up because I don't want to make y'all feel. Nah, his, his, um, his tattoo's hard as fuck. I still got to get tatted more. I only got three tattoos, but I'm trying to get a whole sleeve on both arms. Maybe my stomach done and probably my back, too. Less of y'all self. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all niggas... Y'all couldn't last two seconds in the ring with me, so it's like I wouldn't even want to sit here and intimidate y'all niggas. I want y'all to feel safe when y'all up on this stream. You know what I mean? But don't think for a second a nigga weak or nothing. Even just because I'm sitting in the bed on some injured shit, just because I got these goddamn crutches don't mean I won't tap in and knock a nigga out. Don't get it fucked up for one second. I'm, I'm on this stream. So. No, whatever you want to make. We should get like some Super Bowl food though, like some chips and. Quick question: Who did y'all have winning yesterday? I had the Eagles winning because uh, Chris Poppy said that. If y'all know who Chris Poppy is, look him up on Instagram. Chris Poppy said that somebody hacked into the, in the uh. 
NFL board or whatever it's called and said the Eagles was going to win. But the Eagles lost by three points. So, I was like, what the fuck? Chips and uh, guac and stuff like that. Like that what people eat on Super Bowl days. Yeah, just some, like, appetizers. All right. I mean, yeah, if you want to make it. You want to say hi to my stream, I'm going to put you on speakerphone. You can go on speaker. Hey, (laughs) y'all. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Who you think gonna win? You gonna think you think the Who y'all no. You think the Warriors winning or um the uh Miami Heat? Miami Heat. Me too. Alright. Okay. She don't know what the fuck the Super Bowl is. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling, y'all. You know, I've been chilling, man. I know y'all been seeing a whole lot of drama surrounding my name, and I don't know how it looks because I don't say much, but that's not nothing that I look at and be like, oh, that's dope. Like, I don't like the image that niggas is trying to portray me as because that's not what it is. But you can't really, the thing is, when you in this position in life, bro, and you a public figure and shit, you literally can't convince nobody on the internet. Facts. It's like, it's like trying to convince a stubborn female that just don't want to listen. Facts. Because the motherfucking internet is just going, you know what I'm saying? They just going to go with what they want to go with. So it just don't be no point for me even trying to like clear anything up. The internet always wins, man. Like, you can be the best nigga in the world. I can go change the world tomorrow. Right? Mikey, you heard? Man, oh, yes! We finally finna hit a thousand subs! <laughs> Where you been? My nigga sold the house. Hey, man, W. Mikey. Mikey must have sold the house, man. It's a new year. Let's go. Mikey, you don't know how much we missed you, bro. You carry this whole sub thing. But nah, um, what I was gonna say? Now you can't convince the internet at all. Man. You can't convince the internet shit. They gonna run with whatever they wanna run with. And it is what it is. So it's like, I just ain't been trying to defend nothing. But I want y'all to know, the people that do know me, um, I'm a good nigga, I'm a great nigga, and that's why I'm in the position that I'm in, and that's why I'm surrounded around the people that I'm surrounded around. And if I was, if I was a terrible nigga, best believe that I wouldn't be as blessed as I am. And the people that I'm around, the beautiful people that surround around me and wants to be around me voluntarily, without any monetary value or without any any benefit, is because I'm a good nigga. I'm cover my arms up, I don't want to make y'all feel uncomfortable and shit, but, so, but I just let the internet run with whatever narrative they want to run with, it is what it is, but I would just say this before I get into my, my reactions and shit, um, I got about a thousand t-shirts, bro, got about a thousand t-shirts, and, um, some t-shirts I didn't have for years, bro. I didn't have t-shirts for a long time. Like, I got some t-shirts <laughs> I had since I was a 14-year-old. Some t-shirts I had. Like, I got old DDG squad. I got neck face shirts upstairs. I got t-shirts from 
long time ago. I don't know what the reach was for. It wasn't necessary at all, but um, definitely wasn't the situation. And I don't know if y'all know, but niggas is grown. Ain't nobody dressed me. I don't have a kid, first of all, so I can't dress nobody. And I haven't been dressed by nobody but my mom. But the last time my mama dressed me, I was a goddamn baby. So why would I give a shirt to somebody? To I don't know who, what type of nigga y'all think I am. A lot of people don't know me, but nigga, I am well off. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't know me, and they just, like... Take my kindness for weakness and like you trying to talk down on a nigga and saying I ain't this, I ain't that, I ain't this. I just laugh at niggas like that. Like I really don't be having the time to any and and interact. I can't even get my words right. Interact with niggas like that. Like I ain't got time. Time. I had friends. You feel me? I had I had friends. Niggas turned on me for some lame shit. You feel me? Told them niggas deuces. You feel me? Now them niggas is probably somewhere in jail. I don't give a fuck. Fuck them niggas now. So, like, just know, like, my in my inactions, like, like, just know I'm pure with this shit, bro. Like, we can have a conversation. We can talk about shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a bad person, bro. I just stick to myself, like, and that's just me. I feel like that's just, like, really, that's all of my family. Like, we all just stick to ourselves. Like, it's just, like, we don't fuck with nobody unless you fuck with us. And then it's a problem. You feel me? So, a lot of people just look at me wrong and, you know what I'm saying? But I don't let shit, I fuck shit get to me, so. Oh, bro, like, I'm good. I don't know if y'all think a nigga broke or something or a nigga need, like, some clout, some juice or whatever. But I can, like, I don't know niggas don't know the potential, but, nigga, I've been relevant for... A long time. Niggas fall off in the span of how long I've been relevant. Niggas don't last this long. For sure. I feel that. I'm just tired of the internet playing with me like I'm some lame ass nigga when half the motherfucking females and, 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 shh, I hate to, I don't even want to go off too crazy, but niggas be playing with me, bro. Like, I wouldn't even touch y'all females, bro. I wouldn't, y'all couldn't get next to me. Y'all couldn't even, I wouldn't even want to like, I wouldn't even, the, I be seeing motherfuckers saying shit, bro, and I don't, I'm like, bitch, I wouldn't touch you. <laughs> I wouldn't hey. touch you. Hey, you say. Period. For you to- hey. hey, you say. Hey, that's some real shit right there, telling somebody you ain't even touch them. Like, that's some, like, if you love a girl, like, you ain't even touching her, bitch. You ain't even worried about her for real. Like, you just, you feel me? Like, you want some other type different shit. Like, if you got one of those, like, you know, you're going to ride for it, and you ain't even got to look at another girl ass. You ain't even got to do none of this, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you already know you ain't even worried about no other female, bro. be speaking and trying to call a nigga corny or lame, bitch. You couldn't attain a nigga of my value, period. A lot of y'all, a lot of motherfuckers need to focus on their own relationships, their own issues and problems. That's what's wrong with the internet today. Thanks. Y'all are too... Who invested in other people's lives, Facts. and then when you close your phone, your life is not where you want it to be at. Right. You wasting all this time in, in comment sections and shit trying to fish for likes. Free likes, by the way. These likes are free. You're not getting paid for these likes <laughs> at all. You're in the oh, comment God. section fishing for likes. Mm-hmm. Doing this and that, commenting on a nigga you don't know. When If everybody that's talking shit about me met me, they'd be like, you know what? Do you want to know who your girlfriend is texting with? She said she went. This a smart ass, cool ass, hmm. nice ass nigga. Hmm. Everybody that ever met me was. I'm, everybody that's ever met me has never hated on me. The only niggas that ever hated on me are. I'm not, I don't even mean keep pulling the video, but that's like one thing about me, like. The same thing Didi just said, like, that's the same way as with me. Like, niggas just be hating on me. Like, I don't know. Like, it just be like, I guess they see the hard work and the progress I've done. Like, 
the car I'm in right now, I got it myself, you feel me? Like, my dad got me my first car, but, like, I work my ass off for whatever the fuck I want, bro. Like, I do. Like, I'm not, I'm not sitting on my ass, not doing nothing. I'm working. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. And if I'm in a hole, then I'm trying to figure shit out for myself, you know? And a lot of people be trying to hold, hold niggas back. Like, don't let nobody hold you back from what you're trying to do. Like, for real, don't let nobody hold you back. Because if you, if you let them hold you back, you're going to fail. I'm telling you, you're going to fail, and they're going to laugh at you when you fall. So don't let nobody hold you the fuck back. Don't let nobody hold you the fuck back. I'm telling you. Write that down on your board or whatever. Motive of the day. Don't let nobody hold you back, my nigga. You got this, my nigga. You solid. Don't let these lame-ass niggas, lame-ass bitches hold you back. Fuck what they talking about. Go get your money, man. Chase a check. Run up your goals. Go travel. Do shit that makes you happy. Real shit. Any situation, they don't know me, bro. That's what's wrong with the internet. Y'all need to worry about your own lives and quit commenting on other niggas that's successful, by the way. Successful. Putting their whole family in position to win. A, a positive nigga doing... That's why I be saying, like, y'all think y'all... A lot of people do know DDG. So, for the people that do know DDG, like, tell me if I'm right. Like, he know what he doing with this shit. That's why I say these pranks... And these videos, with the the TT video, he know what he doing. He putting his family in position for this shit, you know what I'm saying? So his family can eat, you feel me? So their family, or whatever, they gonna do what they feature. You know what I'm saying? He put, he niggas smart, right? He really smart, for real. No cap. I'm good. Shit. Quit speaking on a nigga like me, a, a black, that's what's wrong with the black community, matter of fact. Tell me, bro. Y'all do nothing but tear each other down, nigga, like... Shit don't make no sense. For real, bro. Don't make no sense. For real. They don't never want to see a, a, a black male win. They want to see a nigga lose for some goddamn reason. I'm telling you, bro. This nigga's speaking facts, bro. All, dubs, all W's in the chat for facts, my nigga. Like, spam facts in the comments right now, my nigga. Like, he's speaking facts. Like, niggas don't want to see you win, bro. They want to see you fall. That's why I was just fucking saying Niggas want to see you fall, my nigga. They don't want to see you win. And y'all vouching for a motherfucker to be in a, a, a... Another person to be in a relationship with such and such and this and trying to play matchmaker. What about your own relationship? Facts. The hell is y'all speaking on other niggas' relationships for? And what they got going on, bro? Like, that shit is lame. That's low vibration vibes, nigga. Mm -hmm. Like... Focus on your own shit. Get your own vibes together. And this is for the people that be talking crazy about me, bro. It's like, y'all niggas don't really know me in real life. And I think y'all don't get that. Because I understand the troll pages and shit. Y'all, that's what y'all do to get off and be funny and shit. But it be like actual people, like with kids and families and SL shit. SL underscore it underscore E5451E15 to 8 b 68 to 3D39 <sighs> donated $1. Don't trip gang Hallie had that shit on. Look, no, so... Let me turn that shit off. People, uh... That shit just annoying, bro. It's like... Y'all niggas don't even be motherfucking... 10% successful as me. Speaking on me. I seen... Ha, nigga, if I seen any of them females that been speaking on me... It's niggas too. That's what's crazy. When niggas be speaking on it, I'm like, bro, you a man. What you doing? No man should be speaking on a, a another man's relationship. No cap. Period. I don't give a fuck what sexuality you is. Facts. That's like that's like me speaking on my brother's relationship. What the fuck? I need to be worried about my own or whatever the fuck I'm doing, you feel me? Is it what you prefer, nigga? No man should be speaking on another man's relationship, bro. You man, at the end of the day. As for women, y'all need to focus on y'all own shit, bro. Quit trying to tell a motherfucker who they supposed to be dating or who they supposed to be with, nigga. This ain't your life. And I'm pretty sure if she walked past you or if I walked past you, nigga, we would not know who the fuck you is, bro. You are literally on it. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry about that. I got my fucking fucking uh, getting on my fucking nerves and doing a whole bunch of dumb shit. Like I'm going through some shit right now, but I'm trying to say I keep keep pushing, my nigga. When you going through some shit, keep pushing. It's nothing but a fucking wall trying to stop you. A angry wall that that's jealous because you made it so far through this jungle. Keep pushing. Don't let up, my nigga. Keep grinding. Internet. Mind your business from this point forward. Nigga don't need no clout, no nothing from nobody, okay? Please. Y'all keep calling, niggas be calling me a YouTube nigga. Bitch, I'm making millions, okay? Well, I will be a motherfucking YouTuber for the rest of my life. Everybody and they mama want to be a YouTuber. Well. You wish you could hop on the internet and get as many views and as much money as me. You wish. Oh, shit. Niggas wish they could be in my position, bro. That's what I don't get, bro. Like, I'm really, I really built this shit from the ground up. And not only am I, I'm not doing it dolo. I'm doing it with my entire family. Like, it's like, you couldn't dim my light, bro. And that's why, I like, <clears throat> he put them on. That's why it's such... It's more stronger when he put them on. You know what I'm saying? He not doing it though, like he said. You feel me? Like, even though I've been doing YouTube for three years, I'm still pushing. You know what I'm saying? I would want my family to do the same shit. Like, not everybody wants to be a YouTuber. Not everybody wants to be on the same page. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? But, like I told y'all, like, if I were to make it because of y'all, y'all would make sure I eat. Y'all would make sure my family eat. I would fed y'all. You feel me? Everything would be good. My family would be happy. Like, yo, I'm trying to tell you, bro. This shit. Bro. Oh, like. And I feel like, you know, I can't even fault everybody because I feel like motherfuckers don't even know. They not knowledgeable. They don't know about me and shit, so they jump to conclusion off what they see on the internet. And I'm here to say, whatever you see on the internet, don't jump to conclusion because you don't know me. Period. You don't know me. Internet is the internet. It's all for entertainment. Negativity wins on the internet. That's what people like and shit. It is what it is. But y'all need to stop playing with me, bro. Like, I'm some lame-ass nigga. I know this is not all of the video, but, um, I got motherfuckers texting me and shit, hitting me back. I mean, not hitting me back, but hit my phone and shit, so, uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Um, I appreciate y'all a lot. Um, we just keep going up, and y'all just keep loving the videos. I've been doing this shit for three years. Um, 366 subs. Um, uh, we getting about 200 vit. 200 views now. I really appreciate y'all so fucking much. And this shit is only gonna go up. I really love y'all. Um, thank y'all for everything y'all have done. And we, it's just gonna get bigger and further from here on. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna start doing like, like videos in the car now and stuff like that. Cause I really don't be having no peace and quiet and shit where I'm at. So, um, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Um, if y'all want me to finish, finish the rest of the video, y'all let me know. Uh, like I said, I just got some shit to do right quick, so I gotta end it a little short. Uh, this video is probably already long as it is, but, um, put in the comments facts for, uh, facts in the, um, put facts in the comments for DDG, and, um, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. So, um, I'll see y'all in the next video. I'll probably upload tomorrow. I'm gone. Damn, I fucking find a fucking thingy.